Okay, so we've done it. We became ultimate degen and we have access to all the costumes now. What's most important is that we need to look at every single character's costume in this game and criticize them based on how they look and what they're wearing. I'd say rate the classics and rate the new ones and directly compare the two. Start Cammy or Riot, you would say that. First and foremost, Cammy. Cammy's latest design. Actually incredible. I love this design. Friggin' love it. I think it's nearly perfect, right? Nearly perfect redesign. I think it's even better than her classic. It's not as hilariously PV and booty filled, but I think it's perfect. And it also is more of a hark back to her Killer B costume. But I think it's great. I love this costume. I'm gonna give it like a nine out of 10. And then we have her alternate costume, which is just directly from Super Street Fighter 2. And holy shit, is it something else? Is this costume something else? I uh, I think it's really good, but I think it's only an eight. I can't pan the camera. I can't spin the camera. I cannot. There's no spinning of the camera. Let's go back to Luke. I know it's not exciting. It's kind of boring, but I think this is better. I think Whataburger Luke is better than Street Fighter V Luke. I think so. I think this more casual outfit is significantly better. However, it's still a seven. It's a 7 out of 10. He's a true Whataburger fan. I don't know why, but it'd be the way it do. Uh, Jamie, this one's only okay, right? I don't know if I love this one. I don't know if I love it. It's like it's like a mix between like, like Chinese traditional stuff. I don't know. I think it might also be a 7. I think the crop top, I don't mind the, uh, the one pant leg going up. I think it looks relatively cool. It looks okay. I'm going to give it an 8. No, God, I don't feel this way. I'm giving it a 6. Uh, Manon. Damn, Manon clearly is calling back to Abel, right? I already see the Abel inspiration and you actually see Abel inspiration all over the place. Not in the thick cake, okay? The thick cake is not what I was thinking about. This game loves its thick cake, holy hell. I think it's not bad, like a, a mixed ballerina combat costume with like a judo gi. It's weird, but I don't hate it. Again, I'm gonna give this one an eight because I think it's a weird design and they're trying a lot of shit here. It's definitely a unique spin and I, I feel like this could have gone really bad. It really could have been off, but it's okay. I absolutely love Kim's design in this game. I think she looks great. Modern take of the Bushinryu Ninja, obviously. The sneakers, uh, the guy colors, right? Also original character, brand new character. I'm willing to give this, based on all those, those things, a 10 out of 10. I truly feel this is one of the best newer looking characters in the entire game. I hate fighting against her. I absolutely despise this evil bitch. However, I think the design is fantastic. I think she's a wonderful addition to the game, but I just wish that she would have to use her brain every once in a while. Even when I used her, I didn't use my brain, and I swear to God, I couldn't believe how little of my brain I had to use. Marisa. Hmm. Thing is, I like Marissa's design. I dig it. But funny enough, I don't know if I'm completely sold on the gear and garb. I also don't know if I like... If I absolutely love the, 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 the hair helmet, it's definitely another interesting take, but I don't know if I love it. So I think I'm gonna end up on like a seven, even though she's one of the characters I've been using the most so far. I think it could have been better, you know? I, I, think it's, I think it's okay. I'm actually really excited for the costumes that she gets in the future. Now, Lily. Ah, uh, man. It's obviously a PV costume, right? I, I get it. H hello, yes, I get it. You're wearing like hot pants. You're 19, but you're short. I don't know, dude. Uh, I, I think it's like the character design or just the costumes. I don't know if I like her a ton. Feel the T-Hawkisms in here, right? You feel like, you know, the Native American vibe quite a bit, but I feel like it's a five, dude. I don't know. I feel like it might be a five out of 10. I do not absolutely love it. Uh, DJ, you know what? It wasn't that hard to improve on what was already relatively bland back in the day. DJ's just fucking fun. Not even, not even acting about his mannerisms, but holy shit, dude. What a fun costume. I dig it. It's relatively standard, right? It's really, so I give it like an eight. It's significantly better than, than classic DJ. A uh, jury. New jury outfit. 
not talking about character design, but overall costume. And yeah, there's a lot of differences between Street Fighter V, Street Fighter IVs, and this. Although it, it definitely is going back to SF4 style, right? She's still got the spider-ism all over the place. I think this one's also an eight. I don't even know if I like Jury's design way back in Street Fighter IV either. Maybe I kind of like the Street Fighter V costume a little bit more, but I think this one's an eight out of 10. JP's design. I was always curious on JP's, uh, the color choice to give him orange. You know, it always seemed like an interesting color choice to give him his pants and his vest to, for them to be orange. But you know, I think he looks good. I think it's a very regal ass, regal looking outfit. The cape on the side looks dope. The chain also looks dope. Gloves and everything. I think it's, a, I think it's a good design. I think this is a really good, once again, another really good brand new character design. I'm actually going to give this one a nine. Reuse new costume. So they gave Ryu a cape practically and I love it. And a beard. Oh my God, this costume is actually great. Bearded Ryu was one of the top tier shit in the previous Street Fighter. It was obvious that this is the, this is the direction that they should go with Ryu as far as being a new character, you know? I feel that this is another evolution of the direction. He feels more like a master now. He does look like a homeless guy, but if he didn't look like a homeless guy, it would be a problem, right? It would be a problem. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I don't think it's perfect. Honda's. Man, Honda's feels like it's almost no different from the OG, cause, but, uh, but I know that's not true. Once again, they like move parts of the costume to like the upper body, right? And to have like a one-sided sash. I think it's okay. I think it, I think Honda in this game does look great. Like, holy shit, he looks really good. I don't think it's amazing. I think it's like a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a six actually. Now that I'm looking at it, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna give this one like a six out of 10. It looks a little tattered. It might see, it might be some traditional sumo stuff, but it, it really feels like it's similar to his OG costume in many ways. I'm not rating his character design, I'm rating the costume, right? Oh man. Uh, so overalls, in my opinion, immediately elicit the feelings of, uh, of being like childlike. So to me, it's like Blanca looks like an eight year old wearing overalls, you know? Somebody called him Hillbilly Blanca, right? Cletus McBlanca, good take. But I don't know if I love this design of him, you know? And I don't know what else they could have done, but I don't know if this is the one. He sells moonshine now, yeah. He's adorable. Adorable like monkey man little boy is what I'm getting out of it. Maybe that was the intention, but I don't, I don't know. He doesn't really seem fierce anymore. He seems lovable. And I feel like that's the direction they took him after Street Fighter V. He seems more lovable than ever. And that's because of the Blanca Chan stuff, you know? A four out of 10. <laughs> this on paper is a weird costume. To me on paper, this is like a weird costume. The pilot like jumpsuit type thing, but it works. I think it really works. I think this does a good job about, about evolving Guile as like the Air Force guy. Yeah, it's an aviator suit. I'm gonna give this one like a seven. OG Guile has always been OG Guile in many ways. By comparison, I think this is better than what they did in SF5. Uh, Dalsum, I can't see what you're wearing. Holy shit. Okay, it's just Dalsum. Right, and to me, it looks no different than OG Dalsum. He looks more of like a master now. The beard is once again, a great take. I think bearded Dalsum is now required. So once again, I think this is good. I think this is relatively more authentic, but I think it's in the same vein as Guile. I'm gonna say this, this boils down to about a seven. It doesn't feel like it's very different from the previous one, but I know it is, right? I know it is. Ah, uh, Geef. So I like the wrestling pants. I really dig the wrestling pants. I think that's a good call. I mean, it's pretty simple. You don't need to change very much because you obviously want most of him like exposed. But you know, I think it I think it falls in the same line as like a seven where it's an improvement over the previous just spandex that he had. But I think giving him like shiny wrestling pants and stuff makes him feel more wrestler than before. Of course, his knee hair is sticking out, right? Oh man, this chun design. <sighs> I think this one's really good. As far as actually evolving chun Li aging her a bit, making her more elegant, making her a master. I think this one's hella good. I think this is like a nine out of 10. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna give this costume a 10 out of 10. I feel like they spent a lot of time designing this costume for Chun-Li is all I'm gonna say. I feel, I feel, I feel the time they put into it. And last but not least, Hoboken. The thing is I both love and hate this goddamn costume. I'm really torn in my feelings for it. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10. 
I, I, I don't know if I love the, the like the Terry Bogard style jacket or anything like that. So you know what? I, I'm giving it an eight. I do like that Ken changed is all I'm gonna say. I do like that he changed. I do like that he looks cooler than he ever has before. Thank Christ that took long enough. However, I don't love the fact that he looks homeless as shit. I get it that he's on the run. I get that's his story. I don't mind the boots. I don't mind the gloves. I don't mind the uh, gi that's going underneath, but I think it's an eight out of 10. Damn, this costume though, fuck. Damn, and he's got even his, they changed his hair too, dude. Yeah, Ken's hair is different in his costume too. It's back to his Street Fighter 2 hair. Jesus Christ, this shit goes hard as fuck. Uh, this costume looks amazing, in my opinion. Holy shit. It's funny how simple this is, but how effective. It'd be really easy to screw this shit up, but goddamn, I feel like this costume is badass. It's more SF2 Ken, because he doesn't have the tattered shoulders. Tattered shoulders are what makes Street Fighter 3 Ken slash Alpha Ken. Yeah, this shit goes really hard. For some reason, the simplicity of this costume, the, the fact that they gave him baggy pants, I'm biased as fuck and I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I don't give a shit. Luke's alternate costume um, is okay. The hat's stupid. Don't get me wrong, the hat is kind of dumb. I don't like the hat part, but I think it's okay. I think it's better than Whataburger Luke. It's like a seven, seven out of 10. Jamie, uh, costume two. It significantly better, already better. Already just 10 times better. The, the shoes, everything, dude. Like, holy hell. I think this one's great. What'd I give Jamie before? Like a four, a negative one? I think this is like, uh, like a nine. I really like the way this looks. I think it's great. The yellow on black, I think it looks really fucking cool. They gave him dope red shoes. I like it. The non's color, wow, okay. Well, this is some diva shit. I think this is pretty awesome. I don't know what I gave her base costume, but I'm giving this a nine. I kind of love it. Wow, the colors, dude. Good call, Capcom. Oh my God. How, how does Kim get two 10 out of 10 costumes? I don't get it. Jesus, they gave this character two 10 out of 10 costumes. That's so messed up. I love it, 10 out of 10, sorry. 10 out of 10, you just can't convince me otherwise. And Marissa costume two. Um, man, I wish, I don't know. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I love the shoes, any of that stuff. I don't know if it's hitting for me. I get it, it's like the female Urian side of it. The scarf is a little weird. Yeah, the scarf, like the Italy scarf is a little weird. I don't know. If I love it, the hair, I think the hair is what's killing me. I'm gonna give it like a five. I think the business suit part could have been neat, but I just don't think this hits in the, even the way that the original costume does. Costume two. I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. A three out of 10. Oh my God. The Pimp Lord! Holy shit! Oh my good dumb shit, dude. Lord of the Pimp, uh, 10 out of 10. I'm sorry, it's a 10 out of 10. Can you not see with eyes? It's a 10 out of 10. I don't even, what do I, I don't even need to explain it. It's a 10 out of 10. Jury. I think this costume is actually really neat. I feel like this costume is funny enough, like more practical and less weird. I think this is like a nine out of 10 costume, especially with the fact that it's technically quote unquote, the uncensored version of what was in Street Fighter V. I think this is a better design for jury in general. I don't know if everybody feels the same way. It seems like everybody does. I like this one a lot. I think this one's even a little bit better than the default. Wow, man. Here's the thing, DJ's OG costume isn't that great, but what blows me away about this costume is how much he looks like the old SF2 DJ. He looks so good here. Jesus Christ, man. Something about it is like really doing it for me. However, if we're criticizing the costume parts of it, it's relatively simple and it's not much different than before. And DJ's never had like a great costume. I'm gonna say uh, this is like a five. To be real, it's like a five. I'm just really impressed with how the character model looks. Uh, reuse classic costume. Damn, this bitch is flowing in the wind. He's got more of the tattered, messed up costume. It's a classic. Yeah, oh, they gave him the poofy. I didn't even realize. Dude, they gave him the poofy pompadour hair, right? Not exactly pompadour, but you know what I mean? It's a great looking classic costume. 
It's great. I don't think it's as good as Ken's though. Ryu is a real mid 40s man and he will fucking hurt you. I think it's like a nine. Yeah, man, I feel like this is so similar. But obviously it's not. This one's like a bit more traditional, LOL. I don't know. You know, it's basic. It's Honda's costume, right? It is Honda's costume. This shit goes hard though, fuck. This angle of this costume goes hard. It's a five. Honda's design is Honda's design. That has not really changed too much, you know? Wow, classic Blanca looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like a monkey. I, I went and uh, evolved into monkey. Um, I think this looks pretty good. I think this does look pretty good. I like it. I'm gonna give it like a seven. God, you know what? I'd say that I like Guile's base costume, but then you look at the simplicity and absolute perfect fucking execution of this shit. Holy dumb fuck. I, I think this is potentially another 10 out of 10 classic costume. So sick. I love it. I absolutely love it. Chun's classic costume. Oh, wow. Did they youngify her face too? Jeez, dude. This looks amazing. Chun-Li is real and you can marry her. That's what I'm getting out of this. She, you know what? Here's the craziest part. I, I think it's actually a 10 out of 10 as well. Actual insanity. I think it's just another 10 out of 10. Sorry. You know what? This makes me realize how much I like Geef with the pants more. 10 out of 10? I don't know, man. I think he needs, I think the pants are better. The, you know what's, you know what's brutal? Is the scars. Like the scarring on his arms and shit, uh, looks vicious. Now that we can actually pay attention to it. I'm gonna give it a six. I'm actually gonna give it a, a, a six. And Dalsum's classic. But this sort of makes you realize how kind of comical some of the classic designs are. He looks much more creepy. It doesn't look like an aged, you know, master anymore at all. Um, I think this looks weirdly simplistic now by comparison. I feel like all the other accoutrements and stuff they got going on here is way better. And it feels like this is the same Dalsum that you've always seen. And then you go back to old Dalsum and it's like, ugh. I'm gonna give this one like a five, right? Very traditional. That's what they're doing. They're going for traditional and classic, but I don't know if I like this one very much. There's every single friggin' character. Street Fighter, how does Cammy look so cool? How these characters look so cool? Yeah, Capcom killed it, man. If they these characters look so good that I am just I can't wait to see what the DLC characters and their costumes are gonna look like. I can't wait.